Welcome to the Manhattan Multifamily Sales Real Estate Market Report for the second quarter of 2018. Whether you already own or you're looking to buy into the city's fastest growing market, we'll keep you up to date. You're listening to New York's Real Estate Market Update from the Ratner Team. Manhattan's iconic skyline is home to millions and remains one of the most desirable places to live and visit on the planet. Yet, the multifamily market is still steadily suffering a decline, both across the borough and across the city. Sales volume this quarter totaled $877 million, a shocking 22% decrease over last year's quarter two sales volume. Square footage pricing actually increased, going up 12% from 2017 to an average of $653. Average selling prices in Manhattan have decreased, up 25% from last year's records and coming in at $580,000 across the island. While total transactions have decreased 10%, with just 102 sales in the 2018 second quarter. Though Manhattan's volume market is trending down, the top sales numbers still rival the skyline in height. The second quarter's top sale is located in the Manhattan Valley, where 2568 to 2574 Broadway sold for a striking $66 million. The acquisition belongs to a Dallin and Ellian Partners joint purchase, a 67-unit apartment building at the corner of West 97th Street in the Upper West Side. Though at just $829 per square foot, or $985,074 per door, that sale is far below the average square footage of the top 10 most expensive Manhattan neighborhoods this quarter. Chelsea tops off the list at an average of $1,260 per square foot. Yorkville comes in second at $1,180. Lenox Hill, a close third, is at $1,045. The East Village listed at $840 per square foot, Upper West Side at $762, Harlem at $346, and Washington Heights rounds out this list at $284 per foot. Harlem was the neighborhood with the highest volume of multifamily sales in quarter two 2018 again, with 30 total transactions. Both the East Village and Upper West Side followed close behind, claiming 11 to 13 sales each. Bargain seekers should consider looking in Hudson Heights and Inwood, as the average price per square foot was only $205 at the beginning of the year, despite growing interest and activity in the neighborhood. You can visit our website, www.NewYorkMarketReports.com, to download the full version of this report, as well as take a closer look at the individual neighborhood reports. If you like this information, the best way you can support us is with a 5-star rating. Share it with someone you know and subscribe. We'll put out new content and a whole new report every quarter. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Interested in getting a free market analysis of your Brooklyn property, renting your vacant apartment, or simply acquiring an investment property? Email us at contact at theratnerteam.com. We're full-time professionals and always here to help. Thanks for listening.